Now Moses' life is divided in an interesting way, three generations. You have the 40 years of Moses' life where he is in Egypt. Then you have the 40 years where he is in the wilderness. And then you have the 40 years where he's leading people from Egypt to the borders of the promised land. So this is at the birth of the nation. When Israel is finally settled in the promised land, they have three 40s. You've got the 40 years of King Saul, the first king. He starts to deliver them from the Philistines. Then you've got 40 years of David's reign. And then you have 40 years of Solomon's reign. And then the kingdom is divided. So you've got 40 is sort of like in a generation in the Bible. And that's why I think it's interesting that Jesus said in about 30 AD, speaking of the destruction of the temple, he said, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown away. This generation will not pass away. Jesus makes that prediction in 30 AD and 70 AD, 40 years later, the temple is destroyed. So even the numbers connected with the life of Moses are amazing.